Warning, please seek professional advice before commencing any exercise program. If you feel dizzy, unwell or any discomfort during this film, stop immediately and seek advice from a medical professional or a qualified Pilates instructor. Hi, welcome to Align Pilates. My name is Christina and I'm really excited today. We've got a wonder chair workout. I've got Melanie to help me today. So we're going to start off with footwork and the spring setting I want you to use for this is two black springs hooked on the very first setting right down the bottom. Okay, so let's get started. So toes onto the step for me and I want you to have the feet parallel Good. Take a deep breath in, zipping up through the core and pressing down and straight back up. Nice. So you can see her posture is nice and upright, her chest is open and she's just gently pressing into the chair to really make sure she's stabilizing and feeling the sides of the body work as well. So let's do three more Mel. Good, great. And two more. And last one. Great, onto the arches, so the middle of the feet, and you want to sort of hug the pedal. Heels pressing down, toes going over, and off you go again, and press and up, good. Make sure you don't press all the way down to the floor. You want to make sure that you're not rocking your hips backwards and forwards, good. And five, and four, pull in through the tummy, and three, two, last one, Great, bring it in and now onto your heels for me. Toes all the way up, beautiful. Engage those sit bones, so that means squeeze the bottom a little bit and press down and back up, great. And down and back up, good, pull in. Shoulders nice and wide, long through the top of the head, really grow the spine tall. And four more, and three, and two, and one. Let's go back onto the toes. Now we're going to do single legs. So extend the left leg out for me, turn it out a little bit and we're going to pump just this one leg. We're going to go ten and nine and eight, seven, six, five and four. Make sure you're not twisting with the hips. Two more. Last one and switch legs for me. Good. So you're really going to warm up the legs, the thighs and the hips. Good. Nice. Think of stretching this leg out of that joint. Really reach forward, okay? And let's do five and four, three, two and one. Let's switch again. This time she's going to extend the left leg and she's going to cross her arms at her chest. So we're going to warm up the spine by adding a little bit of rotation. So Melanie, I want you to press down and as that leg comes back up, I want you to rotate towards that knee. Good. And press the leg down, come back to the start and bring it up and rotate towards that knee. Good. Nice. So really thinking of turning the center of the chest, not worrying about the shoulders, keep them relaxed. Let's do two more. And last one. Good, and switch over, other side. Extend the leg, so she presses down first and as it comes up, she turns the other way. Good, and back, excellent. And reach. Good. Try and stay really still on that chair. Try not to move the hips around. Good. And last three, lifting through the belly. Keep the chest open. Two more. Great. And last one. Good, good, good. Excellent. And then rest. Okay. So let's do a standing series. Alrighty. So what we're going to do is we're going to stand about a foot away from the frame. So that's where your toes will go. Great. So from here, arms up towards the ceiling. 
Good. Scooping in through the belly and she's going to roll down and place her hands onto the step. Eyes looking into the stomach, take a deep breath in, exhale and press down. Inhale, roll back up. Good. And again, press down. So what this does, it teaches you to use your stomach to really stretch out the spine. Okay. And we're going to do four more. We're going to press down, scoop in through the belly, make sure the shoulders are set back. You're not scrunching into your neck. And two more. And then one more, she's going to hold this one down. Hold it down and bend the elbows to let the pedal come up and press away. Good. And inhale and exhale. Good. Inhale. And as she exhales and presses down, she's scooping in through the belly. So it's a massive stretch for the spine. Last two. Good. And press. And it's a really hard workout for the triceps as well. And last one. And roll. Press it down. That's it. And now we're going to roll up. Scoop. Tailbone down. And roll all the way back up. Beautiful. Shoulders back. Excellent. So what we'll do now is place. Come a little bit closer to the chair. And place your hands onto the handles for me. So place your left toes onto the step. Take a deep breath in, eyes are looking forward and she's going to press the pedal down. So press down and back up. Good, nice. Again, as she presses down, she makes sure that she's scooped in, hips are nice and still. Let's do four more. And three. Good, chest stays open. Two. And last one. Excellent, let's change legs. Good. Nice and upright. Good. Scooping in through the belly. Press and lift. Good. Really great way to engage the back of the leg and the glute as well. Okay, so I want you to not just focus on using the quad, but really try and squeeze the bottom to get the bottom to work. Let's do four more. Good. And four. And three. Good. Working hard. Two. Last one. Excellent. Good. Let's switch legs again and let's add something else to this. So place the other leg, press down the pedal and then place the hands just on the outer edges of the chair. From here she leans forward and she's going to lift this leg out to the back. Out for five. Good. And four. Making sure that you're not dipping into that lower back. Three, two, one. She places this right leg onto the pedal and then she takes the other leg back. Great. And then we go again. Reach for five and four. Shoulders all the way down the sides. Three, two, one more. Great. And then place that left foot onto the pedal for me, Melanie. Grab the handles and take this leg off for me. Great. Okay. So let's combine those two exercises. She's going to pump the pedal twice. One and two, then she reaches down, grabs the sides of the chair and she lifts this leg out for two. Great, come back and now she's going to pump for three. Two and three and reach forward and extend the leg, really working the back of the leg and the glute and step back for four and three and two and one and reach forward four lifts this time good making sure you're not dipping pulling up through those core muscles and then the last one we're going to try five pumps so five and four and three two one and reach and five four reach those shoulders down good and excellent beautiful switch legs for me and let's do the same thing on the other side Let's start off with two pumps. Press down. Good. Hold the pedal down. Reach forward and now she lifts with the other leg. One and two. Beautiful. Grab the handles and let's go for three. And one, two. Zipping up through that core and we reach and we lift for three. Two, one. Excellent. Let's go for four pumps and lift the core. Good. Think long through the top of the head. Reach forward and stretch this leg out. Good. Excellent. And last set. We're going to do five pumps on this one. And five and four and three, two, one. And last one. Five and four, three. Stretch. Two, one and rest. Excellent. Very good. 
Okay, so let's try mountain climber. So I'd like you to step down, press down, and take that left leg onto the top of the chair. Great. The hands come to the front side of the chair, just gently pressing in towards you, eyes looking down towards the belly button. And she's going to lift up a little bit, so lift that Come on to the front there. Now this leg's going to bend. Bring the pedal up and pump the pedal. 10 and nine, eight, seven, six. So she's really working hard into this left leg. Three, two and one. Beautiful, step all the way down and switch legs. Really hard workout and it really is a re uh, cardio workout this one. Okay, so let's do the other side. So eyes looking into the belly. Beautiful. Lean forward and off you go and pump. Bring that pedal right up. Good. And six, five, four, three, two and one. Well done. Coming all the way off. Good and stepping down. Excellent. Alrighty. So let's try tendon stretch. So Melanie, I'd like you to grab the front edge of the chair. Beautiful. Press down onto the pedal and have the kneecap just on that edge. Great. So from here, she's going to bend the ankle and press it down. Good. So you can place that heel onto the floor. Good. And press and back up. Good. And this is a really good workout for the calves. It gives you a stretch as well as that strengthening workout. So let's do four more. And three. And two. And last one, grabbing hold of the handles and changing sides. Great workout if you're a runner. So if you're on your feet all day, you need to strengthen your ankles or your tendons. This is a really good way to do that. Okay, so her knee stays still and then you can see that shaking and that's fine. That's just that muscle getting that little bit stronger. And let's do five more. Good, really good workout, good stretch for the Achilles. And the last one, excellent, grabbing hold of the handles and stepping down. Great. Okay, let's do a side series. So I'll get you to face that side for me. She's going to grab that front handle, good, and place her right foot onto the chair. Good. So you can see that her hips are squared up to the front, her knee comes out. Take a breath in and on the exhale I'd like you to press the pedal down and back up. Good. And press the pedal down and back up. Good. So this is going to work those rotators in the hips. Okay, so that means the outside of the bottom. So four more. Good. And three. Lifting through the core. So always mindful of keeping your core muscles on. And last one, she's going to press down and hold it down. Good. She leans into, she's going to stand on that leg and then lift this leg out to the side for five. And four. And three and two and one. Beautiful. Let's start again. Let's do two of each. So she's going to do two pumps. One and two. Step up and then reach out for one and two. Let's do three this time. And one and two and three. Step and reach. Working the side of the leg and into that glute as well. Let's do four this time. We're going to go all the way up to five. Good. Excellent. And reach for four and three and two. Good, last set, five. Working really hard. Keep those hips squared. That's it. And press and reach and stretch out of the leg. And last one. Beautiful, excellent. Let's do the other side. All right, facing me this time. So. Nice and upright, think of that long, long line of the body, zipping in through the belly. And then from here, we're going to press the pedal down. Good, excellent. Keep the hips nice and squared. Let's do two more and press down and hold. And then we're gonna work this leg out. So reach out for five and four, works the entire line of that body right on to, into that side glute as well. Good, and then let's combine those two. So we'll do two pumps and then two leg lifts. Good, 
and three pumps one and two and three and straighten this leg as you stand on it and one and two and three good let's do four and four three two one beautiful and stretch and reach the toes good and then last set five pumps this is really working her hard good excellent and reach stand and lift for five and four and three two and one well done okay stepping down great job let's move to the lying down series so I'll get you to lie down for me feet onto the pedal great just like that hands by your side pressing gently into the ground shoulders nice and wide okay so we're going to take it into a bridge so take a deep breath in scooping up through the core muscles and I would like you to curl the spine off the ground take a breath in and then we curl all the way down bone by bone good and again and curling lifting the tailbone really articulating that spine and then roll down from the sternum all the way down to the tailbone let's do two more so reaching up think of sending that tailbone nice and long and then roll down and think of pinning those shoulders down so really opening up through the chest last one we're going to hold this one up here's where it gets interesting so hold it up for me and we're going to do a tiny little march so I'd like you to lift one leg up beautiful and down and then the other leg good excellent keep going for me so hips are going to stay nice and still she's still zipping up through that core she's still thinking of a powerhouse okay last two beautiful and then she rolls back down excellent so let's combine those two things so we're going to roll up Melanie good roll back down so we'll do two and roll up and hold and she's going to do two marches on each leg so we go up good and reach and one more set good excellent and then roll back down now she's going to do three bridges this time so really focusing on engaging using your glute muscles to lift yourself up rather than just depending on your hamstrings so if you feel that you're cramping really think of squeezing your bottom before you start the lift so last one she comes up now she's going to do three sets of that march so one good and lift good two more sets and two so this is a hip stabilizing exercise what she's trying to do is strengthen the core enough to keep the hips still excellent and she rolls back down let's do four last time and she goes up for one good roll down lengthen the spine as you roll back down and two good and roll that back down and three good watching that the knees don't fall out to the sides keeping those thighs nice and parallel and I think this is the last one and let's go good someone's got to be counting and good excellent three more sets hips nice and stable activating those glutes so that the hips don't move beautiful good and last set I think yes good well done all right and roll back down and I'll get you to hug your knees into your chest good just for a little stretch good 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 all right placing your feet back onto the chair okay so let's do a little curl up so Melanie I'd like you to place your hands behind your head and when you place your hands behind your head I'd like you to place them right at the bottom of your head with your thumbs running down the neck okay beautiful pressing gently down into the pedal I'd like you to curl up and roll back down good keep going for me so what this does by her pressing down on the pedal she's really activating the back of the leg so she's not working into her hip flexors let's do four more beautiful good and three good two more and here's where it gets tricky lift up and hold good you're going to bring this knee in towards your chest and rotate towards it good and then come back down and then other side 
curl up, this knee comes in and she curls towards it and then come back down. Beautiful, let's do four more, two more on each side. This is a great exercise for your obliques, for your waistline. Good. And again, as she turns that way, she's still pressing down into this leg. One more each side. Great. And then last one. Working really strong into those core muscles and relax. Beautiful, good. Okay, so let's do a push-up series. For this one, I'm just going to keep one spring on and that's the black spring on the bottom setting. So let's do that now. Okay, so kneeling down and she's going to place one hand onto the step and the other hand down, so she's in her push-up position. She's going to stay on the knees, shoulders are back, head nice and long, really stretching and lifting through the abdominals. From here, she presses down and back up. Good, keep going for me. So what this does is really teaches her shoulder blades to stay stable, okay? Her shoulders, as you can see, aren't moving up and down. It's just the elbow bending, okay? So let's do four more. And three, good. Keeping those shoulder blades nice and wide one more, keep the pedal down, and now she's gonna come up into a plank position. So she's gonna come up, up, and then come back down. Great, let's do that again. Back, up, up, and then down. Good, keep going for me. So it's really challenging her, just in this different position, which is great for the core muscles. And come down, last one, and hold it there. Let's combine those two exercises. So she's going to do two pumps with the arms, one and two, she holds it down and now she does two of those step out. So step out and in and then out and in again. Good, and now let's do three pumps. So she does one and two and three, hold it down. Now we go three times and one, good. And two and three, Beautiful, last set, we're going to do four of these. And off you go for four, beautiful. Make sure the hips don't move around, don't tilt and don't lift as you go onto your toes. That'll mean you'll work your core a whole lot more. Great, excellent. Okay, so keeping the pedal down, we're going to do push-ups, straight into push-ups. So let's do five push-ups. So coming down for five and up. So you can see she's doing a full range push-up and you don't have to go down that far if you can't. Halfway down is more than enough. Last one, beautiful. And then bring the pedal all the way up. Excellent, and I'll just get you to do a little stretch back for me, a little rest position. Great. All right, let's do the other side. onto your knees, great, into position, good. So from here, making sure that you're nice and parallel, so your chest is parallel to the floor. And let's start off, just doing a couple of pumps just to warm up, good. Keeping the shoulder down, making sure that you're not shrugging into your neck. Good, and then hold it down for me. Now let's take it into the planks. So we go out and in. Good, do it again for me, out, and you can see how still her hips are. That's quite hard to keep them that still. Good, and one more, and back in. Good, okay, so let's combine those two exercises. So let's go for two, Melanie, two pumps. Beautiful, keep it down, and back you go for two. Good, you can see her hips don't lift very much at all. Let's go for three pumps, and one, and two, and three, keep it down, lift the stomach, and out for one, good, and two, and three. Good, last one, let's go for four, and reach for four. Her shoulder blades are nice and wide on her back, she's not crunching that shoulder blade into her spine at all. Beautiful, four, and three, she's keeping her body nice and long, and then she finishes off, Good, and now we'll take it straight into push-up. So when you're ready, five push-ups for me. Down for five, and lift, and four. Beautiful, three, two, last one. You bring the pedal all the way up, and then sit back into a little child's pose. 
rest position. Excellent. Good. Great. Okay, coming up for me, Melanie. So what we're going to do now is change the springs because we're going to do an exercise called swan. So we're going to add another spring back on. So that black one that we took off, we're just going to put it back onto that first setting. Come around for me. So she lies down with her hands onto the pedal and move forward for me a little bit more. That's it. So the angle that you want is when you press down, she's going to have that straight angle right there. Okay, so arms are nice and straight. Okay, legs are together. Take a deep breath in and then she lifts the pedal up, keeping the arms straight. So coming up, beautiful, and then back down. Excellent. And again, as she lifts up, she's going to make sure her abdominals are engaged. So she's really pulling her navel in towards her spine and lift open the chest. This is a great exercise to work the strength in the back. And two more, open up. Good, open up that chest and down. And then last one, one more. Good, really challenging exercise. Come down for me, hold it there. And now she's going to bend her elbows to pump the pedal for five and four and three, good. Two, one more, hold it down. Let's combine those two exercises. So she comes up for two, good, and back down. Keeping the legs together will just make her legs work a little bit harder too. Hold it there, she's going to pump the pedal two times. One and two, now she's going for three swans. And up, good. And two more, and up, and one more. And up, good, keeping nice and long through the top of the head. And three pumps, one and two and three. Beautiful and excellent. Okay, coming off the wonder chair for me. Good, grab hold of each pole and then just reach back and have a little stretch. Good, really good exercise that works the entire back, the glutes, as well as the back of the legs and the inner thigh. So that's why it's such a great exercise to try. Now we're going to go into a sideline exercise. So Melanie, I'll get you to lie down facing that way for me. Beautiful. So you can see her legs just draping over the front of the wonder chair and this leg is going to be straight. Her hand just onto this first pedal and then this arm can either hold onto here or reach up. Yeah, she can reach up. So from here, take a breath in and she presses down and back up. Great, good. All right, so what this exercise does, it really works the oblique. So she's working hard into this side, but she's also working into this other side to make sure she's not collapsing. So really think of pulling your belly button in towards your center, making that waistline smaller. Great, and she does one more. Good, bring it up and then she's going to place that hand down onto the pedal and from here she reaches down again and a little bit like that swan, she's going to lift up and open the chest. Great, good and again, let's do four more. This leg reaches long, so really think of the stretch that you're getting out of that hip. Excellent. And let's do one more. Great. So how can we make that a little bit more challenging? Take that arm straight back up, or you can hold on for now. This leg is going to go straight, so now both legs are straight. Hip on top of hip, and then from here, she does it again. She presses down and back up, a lot more challenging. Okay, so now she's only got a hip and part of the thigh onto that wonder chair, so it's a lot harder, this one. And she does one more and bring it up and she places that hand onto the pedal and opens up the legs. So I want you to scissor the legs and down she goes. Reaches down and back up, good. And down and back up and last one. Down and back up, good. And let's do the other side, good job. All right, so that leg comes to the front. We reach down for the pedal and this leg is nice and long. Top hand either onto the handle or lifting up towards the ceiling. And down you go and lift, good. 
and down. You may feel there's a little bit of a difference between one side and the other and that's perfectly normal. You may just need to work a little bit harder on that side that feels weaker. And two more. Good. And then last one, she presses down, brings the pedal back up and then turn, place your hand onto the pedal and then reach down. Good. And lift, opening the chest and again down and lift and two more. Good. Keeping the back of the neck nice and long. Last one. Good, so let's make that progression now. So we take that bottom leg, straighten that leg out. Good, and then top arm either onto the handle or reaching and down she goes and back up and down. Good, think of reaching straight up. Okay, so you're not going to crunch into that side. You're going to lift up towards the ceiling. Last one, lift, good. And then she places that hand down. She opens up the legs and down she goes. Good, and lift, open the chest. Good, and let's do three more. And up. And then last one. Great. Well done, good, and jumping off. So I'll get you to come down into a pigeon stretch position. Great, both hands onto the pedal. The back leg reaches long, okay? So from here she presses down and back up, good. So this stretch may not be comfortable for everybody. So if that's the case, just placing your foot into that position and holding on to these might be enough and that's fine for now. Let's do two more. Great, so this will stretch the side of the thigh as well as the glute. Last one, and coming up, holding on to the handles for me, standing all the way up, and then lengthen the leg nice and long and come down for that hamstring stretch. Beautiful, good. And coming up, and let's do the other side. Great, good, and reach down if you can, and press, good. This leg is nice and long, she presses down and come up, last two and then last one, holding on to the handles, reach back, stand and extend that leg out, reaching forward, beautiful, great workout, good. Thank you so much for joining us, we'll see you next time.